Future Studies has six pillars. The first is mapping the future. The second is anticipating the future. Third is timing the future. Fourth, deepening the future. Fifth, creating alternatives. And the last one is transforming the future. Let me start with the first. First, in mapping the future, we have two parts. One is shared history. In a workshop setting, I want to find out what is the history of people in the room. So if it's the future of a particular city, we want to know what happened the last 30, 40 years. What has changed? What hasn't changed? That creates a notion of a shared history, so we understand the past. Then our next method is the Futures Triangle. This is an attempt to figure out where is the future going. Futures Triangle has three parts. One is the image of the future. What's the pull of the future? While there are many images of the future, four or five are archetypal. These are evolution and progress, more technology, man as the center of the world, and a belief in rationality.